welcome. This is month number three that I was able to get all of this food and I was able to get it for free because this food was going to be thrown away. This last location where I get this food is the last place this food will see before a landfill or to feed a local farmer's animals. A lot of you have great interest in what I am doing because this is something very unusual. I'm not dumpster diving, but I'm actually getting food that is a little bit higher quality without having to do the dumpster diving. A lot of you have taken the advice that I said in these last three months. You have contacted your local area where there's a food pantry. Some of you have been quite successful at it, like me, while others of you say, they just say no. I'm gonna share with you some ideas on how you can glean free food from your local pantry or your local food bank. But I'm gonna share with you some insights and some tips that maybe you wouldn't have heard of anywhere else. As you know, I've been doing this for three months and it's been amazing. But the first hurdle that you have to face is your pride. <laughs> your pride is the hardest thing that you're gonna to have to face. It is very nerve-wracking for the first time to go to places like this if you are a very quiet person or if you're a very shy person. I make videos every day, but in reality, I don't like trying things that are new. And going to the food pantry was really very scary for me. <laughs> it was very stressful, but I'm so thankful I did because now I'm able to glean this food. We live off this food and our food budget is really low and this food was going to be thrown away. So it is something that has been a blessing to everybody. I'm going to share with you step number one. Step number one is you have to put down your pride and you have to put down your shyness. <laughs> Listen, everybody that's been to a food pantry or food bank at one time in their life has been scared. People are generally very kind there and people are very very happy and very happy to see you there. It is very fearful to try something for the first time. <laughs> I know. But once you do it and the second time it gets easier and easier and easier. And for me knowing that this food is going to be thrown away really even makes it even more of a blessing to me because I'm not taking it from anyone that's in need. But I'm taking it and I'm recycling it and I'm being a good steward of this food. So lesson number one in gleaning free food is nine times out of ten you're not going to have any success if you're going to a government subsidized food pantry or food bank. So if it's government programmed, most likely they're not going to give you any leftover food, food that was going to be thrown away. Government regulated places are just really hard to get in and to get the free food. Of course you can go there and of course you can sign up for free food. But if you want to glean from food that's going to be thrown away, like I do, a government institution is probably not going to be a real success for you. But it doesn't hurt to try. It doesn't hurt to call them and say, at the end of the week, what do you do if you have any produce that's left over? A lot of you have done that and a lot of you have been successful. Tip number two, it's location, location, location. It all depends on where you're located. If you're nestled in the inner city, most likely you're not going to be able to find food like I do. But if you're in the countryside or if you're in the suburbs, you have a higher chance. Also, if you are in a church pantry, the church pantry is your number one key. So if you can find a church pantry or a church food bank, you have a very high success rate of being able to glean that food because you're under this church regulations and oftentimes they're a lot more lenient. A lot of grocery stores are starting to understand that there is called the Good Samaritan Law. The Good Samaritan Law was put in effect many years ago and that provided a way that grocery stores could donate their food, their food that's a little bit past the expiration date. 
the Good Samaritan law was in effect to cover the grocery stores in case that somebody would ever get sick on the food. That way grocery stores can never be sued. The Good Samaritan law is in all the United States. So when a grocery store tells you that they cannot give you any extra free food to the food banks, they're telling you a falsehood because there is a law in effect that does cover all grocery stores. As the years go by and as recycling gets better and better and more prominent, a lot of grocery stores are donating their food to local charities and local food banks. So, the other thing I want to share with you is, oftentimes if you go to these food banks, wait until the end of the day, right before they're ready to close. That's what we do. We go right before it's ready to end, and all the food that's left over is welcome for us. I am getting hundreds and hundreds of pounds of food, but for me, it's all donations that were made to the charity. And so my food is a lot fresher. And so my food comes directly from produce auctions. And here is another key. You don't have to go to food banks and you don't have to go to food pantries in order to get free food. Do you know of a local produce auction? Going to a local produce auction and waiting to the very end when the food is just about, the auction is just about over, you're able to get free food. People don't know this little tip and this little trick, but a lot of times at the end of the produce auction, you have produce that wasn't able to sell, and you are able to get that for free, or you get it for a dollar or two for a truckload. Always go to the end, right before it's ready to close, and you will be surprised at the food you're able to find. But then we run into another problem. When you're getting this food at a food bank or a food pantry, this food, like my grandma would say, it's on its last leg to preserve the food immediately. You can't just put the food away for a couple weeks. It has to be preserved within the next three or four days. And so that's why when I go to the food bank, I am so busy that whole week. The food has to be preserved immediately. The food is still very good, but you're not going to find prime food. So if you're one of those people who don't like having food with a blemish here and there, this is something you're not going to want to get involved in because this food is food that's left over and this food has blemishes and it takes a lot of hours to clean and to prepare the food. So I want to show you next step how you can find where are your pantries? Where are your local food banks? Where are these churches that have food? That is a big help by the internet. And the internet is going to be able to show you where your area is, if there's any food pantries in your area, and the phone numbers that you can call. It takes a little bit of homework on your part, but the rewards you reap are just endless. And I'm here to prove it, and I have many people that are on my channel that said, Tessie, I'm doing the exact same thing you're doing, and it's been such a miracle blessing. If you have the willingness to work and to prepare this food, you can glean free food. But it takes a little bit of effort on your part, and a little bit of diligence in locating your areas. So let's go to the computer, and I'll show you where you can find your food. So here we are, we're sitting at the computer, and I'm just putting in a random location. So let's try the food pantry for Dayton, Ohio. All we do is we type in the food pantry. Take a look at this. Here we have all kinds of food pantries right in Dayton, Ohio. Not only does it give you the list of the names, but it also tells you their phone number all of these food pantries. They even have their own websites. Then this is how you contact them. So this place right here is called With God's Grace. And this here probably you could find some fresh food because it is a church and it's a large donation center. Also here they have mobile handouts. Here they have places where they actually have a bus that comes to your house. Well, let's say you don't live in Ohio. Well, let's type in food pantry. Hmm, where do we want to look? Let's look in Texas. 
food pantries in Texas. Now you can put in your own little town. Take a look at this. All of these food pantries in different areas of Texas. Look at this. This is how you find your food and your food pantries. And you give them a call and you specifically ask them, what do you need to be able to go to a food pantry? A lot of times there are places at the end of the month, like where I go, where you don't need to have any kind of identification whatsoever. The food pantry that I go to is a community pantry once a month. You don't need to have any identification. You don't need to have any requirements. You can get the food for free that's left over. All you do is Google. You Google your town and your state and it all comes up for you. So I hope this little bit will help you out in searching for your food pantry and searching for free food for you. And whatever your pantry provides with you, you can use that. And you can use that and you can preserve it. Every month it's going to be something different. But I can promise you, because a lot of people have told me that it's been a real blessing to them, all you have to do is make the first step. Find it and give the, them a call and you're off to a wonderful world of gleaming food that would be thrown away.